Good morning from Napoli. We are in Naples. Wow, look at this. Wow. So this is Naples. Lots of ships in. Hi guys, welcome to a Chloe Tale and welcome to day eight. Is it day eight? Yes, day eight of our Mediterranean cruise. It's our last full day on the ship. It's our last port. Uh, we're in Naples. So Naples, you can either look around Naples itself, you can go to Pompeii, you can go to Capri, you can go to Sorrento. And we have decided to get the train straight to Sorrento, which is the furthest point, and then come back via Pompeii. We've already got our Pompeii tickets, we pre-booked those. And then, just before we get on the ship, if we have time, we're gonna have a little look inside Naples itself. Uh, if we have time, if we don't, then it's no big deal. And that's today. I can't believe this is the last day on the cruise. It's so sad. We've already had our breakfast. We went up to Cabanas for that. We're dressed and ready for the day. The gangway is deck one aft, so that's where I am heading now. Let's go, let's have a lovely day. Come join me. Let's go explore Italy. Naples, Italy. I'm always so in awe of this ship whenever I get off. Just the size of it, insane. So we have walked up this road that takes you back to the port. It's a walk up here to this metro we're just coming down here to the train station and we're going to get our tickets to sorrento so we bought our ticket on these machines it was four euros 90 naples straight to sorrento this is a nice uh, metro station so we are getting a train one stop to garibaldi and then we get off at Garibaldi and get a train straight to Sorrento and it takes just over an hour to get there. Here's the train. Garibaldi station is a big station. So we're looking for the next train now that takes us straight to Sorrento. Bit of a disaster. Uh, there's a strike on the train. <laughs> Don't know why I'm laughing because it's not funny. <laughs> that means we can't go to Sorrento or Pompeii. So I'm just running up here to see how much a taxi would be to Pompeii. And we might have to skip Sorrento because it's just going to be too far. So let's see how that goes. And oh my gosh, something's going on up here as well. We are in a taxi line now. We've been very unfortunate with this strike. There's a strike all the way around the station. We're going to join this taxi rank line and get a taxi to Pompeii. So we've just come through. We were able to skip the line. So because I bought the ticket online, we were able to skip the queue. It says 64 euros. I'll put the website that we use below. Um, right, we're in now. We don't have a tour guide. We're just going to stroll, look around. We've got a map here and we're going to see the ruins of Pompeii. Oh, and the taxi here was 70 euros and then the tip as well so it wasn't too bad in the end and at least we got here we were starting to worry that we weren't even going to get to to see this with the with the train strike so 70 dollars isn't bad oh also just ignore my spray tan it's all coming off just ignore that so this is the map just go to the that we're going to be working on these trees oh it's very very hot midday sun though now this is the one thing I remember about Pompeii. I think I was about 15 when I came here with school. I just remember it being blazing hot and no shelter. So I'm prepared. I've got my sun cream on, I've got my hat on. <laughs> Let's do this.
here's Vesuvius. Refreshments bar right in the middle of the ruins. They've got some sandwiches and things if you wanted, and donuts. I'm just gonna get a drink. somebody's house, number 15. So we are at the train station now from Pompeii. It's called Pompeii Scavi. We were looking at time and we were thinking maybe we can risk it and head to Sorrento and come back in time, but we just can't. It's two o'clock, the strike's still on. We've got to be back on the ship at six. We're just not going to risk it. And um, there's a train back to Napoli in 20 minutes. We're just going to get that, play it safe and maybe save Sorrento and the Isle of Capri for another time. This is the train station, Pompeii Scavi, if you wanted to get off at Pompeii by train. And the trains are still on strike to Sorrento, so we're just getting this one back to Naples. It is running, it says, so fingers crossed. And we're back, back to the ship. What time is it? 20 to 4. 20 to 4. Boy, am I glad to be back on the ship. We've not had the best day, I'm not gonna lie. It's been long, it's been such a disappointment, especially with those train strikes. We've not been able to do all the things we wanted to do. We're definitely regretting not booking a Disney excursion for Naples, and that is my number one tip for coming to Naples book a Disney excursion so they sort out the transport for you, they sort out all everything because getting the local trains and walking to and from, the area is not nice, the trains are not nice, the trains could go on strike. Our train back then from Pompeii to Naples was the first train back after a strike and everybody piled on and we were so worried that we weren't actually going to be able to get on the train. We were running down the platform to try and kind of get in, there were queues coming out the door. We finally got into the train and for the whole journey, it must have been over half an hour, we were just like sardines. So I'm ready for a shower, I feel absolutely absolutely gross <laughs> so yes I'm coming on here to tell you do not make our mistake of thinking we can get public transport and go to these places get a Disney excursion books because 
that was crazy absolutely crazy so we didn't get to go and see Sorrento but you know what that means we just have to come back one day and maybe we just go straight to Sorrento maybe we do a long weekend and do Sorrento and Capri or something like that so I'm gutted we didn't get to see that but we did get to see Pompeii and that was great. I'm glad we got to see that. My parents had never been before. I didn't really remember it. So it was nice to see it all again. And now we can take a sigh of relief that we're back on the ship, no more walking, no more transport, and we can enjoy the ship for the final night of our cruise. I'm gonna shower, refresh, I might go and get something to eat, I'm pretty hungry. I'm very, very thirsty, so I'm gonna get a drink and rehydrate and just enjoy this last night on board the Dizzy Magic. I am about to get the largest drink in this, <laughs> but I'm just walking to midship to see what characters are there. Oh, I love this, it gives you a map of where we've been and that's where we're heading back to tonight. And that's where we've been. That's so good. Who do we have? Oh, it's Captain Mickey. I never really noticed it. Obviously, Goofy's on the back of the ship, but Goofy's in a lot of these pictures as well. They're very goofy, goofy themed ship on this one as well right we are nine midship we need to go aft to the beverage station it's actually gone quite dull now i don't know whether it's about to rain so we might have been lucky there to miss that i might go to pinocchio's we've not been there this cruise and get pizza or a hot dog we've got the this is where you get the soft serve ice creams they've got banana vanilla chocolate and coconut pineapple ice cream and then obviously you can have a mixture of either one as well so you can choose to have a cone or a cup so i might go to this one as well the duck in diner they have hot dogs and they have burgers chicken tenders fries and then they have beef and lamb shawarma and chicken shawarma as well. I've gone for a hot dog. <laughs> well, you had ice creams though, right? And what did you get? I got some hummus and some tomato salad. Oh, very nice. Yeah, thank you very much. So we've come into our room and we have this letter and our envelopes for tips. Uh, so you have envelopes for the host or hostess, assistant server, the head server, and then our server. And they've also given us the luggage tags for our suitcases. They need to be outside the door tonight by nine o'clock for them to take. If you don't want to do that, then you would just have to take your suitcase off yourself. Uh, but we'll be doing this so that we don't have to do that in the morning. But this is sad this means it's over we're gonna pack up some of our things now before dinner at six so that it's pretty much no need it's time for our last dining experience it's in lumiere's tonight we've got our envelopes and then after dinner we're going to go and see dr strange in the cinema we have packed and then we just need to put the suitcase out by 10 p.m this evening we asked our stateroom host and it's 10 p.m uh, latest that we have to have our suitcases outside the door I love our table at Lumiere's, we have such a great view, so we should be able to catch when we leave. So this is the menu tonight, he says it's a special menu tonight, it's lobster night, so we've got lobster, red snapper, we've got chicken, venison, pork, and then again you always have these ones, your steak, salmon and chicken. I'm gonna miss my Shirley Temples every night. Simon has got oysters. Wow. For the first time. I've this never... is the first time he's yeah. ever had oysters. Yeah. You'll have to let us know what you think. Um, I have got prosciutto with aged cheese. My mum's got the same. And my dad's got, what have we got there? 
Tiger prawns. Tiger, tiger shrimp. Ooh. So next course, I've got a chicken noodle soup. Simon's got an oxtail soup. Yeah, with some ravioli in it. Dad's salmon pasta. Our last main course. So I've got the parmesan crusted chicken and pasta. Mum's gone for the venison and potato croquettes. Dan's got the salmon. And Simon has got... <laughs> the whole menu. <laughs> the whole menu. No, he's gone for the venison, but then he's asked for a lobster tail. Because it's lobster night. Wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> Amazing. We've set sail. We're off skiing back to Rome. And these are the desserts. We've got creme brulee, apricot trio, lava cake, and a captain's table sundae. I love that they have a sundae every single night with a different flavour. I'm definitely getting this. I love mint chocolate chip. Oh, and the specialty dessert is old fashioned apple pie. Follow the channel of fairy tales, right? It's the cruise line. Here are our desserts. We've got our mint chocolate sundae. And Simon has gone for chocolate lava cake. I'm so jealous. That looks amazing. We've got a crab. Got a crab with little eyes. So that's what I've noticed a lot with this cruise. They've been using this to make the characters out of. Yeah. When we've been on them before, it's only been out of the towel. Dinner was delicious tonight, and now we are heading into Buena Vista Theatre to see Doctor Strange. Oh, there's not many people in here. We're a little bit early yet, anyway. Just finished watching Doctor Strange. It was so good, no spoilers, but it is, uh, it's pretty horrifying. I did not realize. <laughs> Uh, but we had a really good night. We're just doing our last bit of packing and then we're going to have our suitcases out by just before 10. And that's it. We have finished the cruise. I'm so sad. I really hope you've enjoyed seeing all these cruise vlogs. One more day tomorrow, debarkation day. So do stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Me.